What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and yesterday we finally found out how COD points are going to work for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, so today I'd like to give you guys my thoughts on this new system, what I think about it, plus I'd like to show you all really quick just how this new system works, because I really also want to know what you guys have to say about this down below in the comments. Some of you guys may not like it, some may really think this is the best system so far, or you may just not even care, so let's check it out. So first off, when you head over to the black market, you're going to notice there are three different types of loot items. The first section is called contraband, meaning this is the loot you'll be able to receive for each season or operation. The second option are called special orders, meaning you'll be able to purchase these orders for a certain specialist character. Right now on the black market, we have Seraph and then Firebreak. And these items are special gestures, sprays, or skins for that specific specialist character. And then if you do decide to buy it, then you'll be able to open up a new set of tiers for that special order. It doesn't matter what tier you're on, just as soon as you buy these special orders, then you'll be able to activate that new set of tiers. Sadly though, if you decide to buy two of these special orders, you cannot work on both at the same time. You can only do one. And yeah, that's kind of unfortunate though, so say if you're finished with the Seraph, then after that you'll be able to work on the Fire Break. And then finally at the very bottom are the event items, and these are going to be the items that revolve around a certain theme like Halloween or maybe even Christmas. Now you can also skip tiers, which is a second option on what COD points can be used for. So say if I want to skip from my current level to the max amount, then it's going to cost me over 17,000 COD points, which is a good couple hundred dollars right there so you cannot skip to a specific tier and buy that item directly there was a lot of confusion about that but no so say if i wanted to buy the hudson skin for blackout or a uh, or a, a signature weapons we'll say that well, I cannot unless I level up my tiers to that level. I cannot buy that item directly. It's very unfortunate. A lot of people did want that. I wanted that as well, but um, no, it, it's not going to work that way. There was a lot of confusion on that part, but... Um, so yeah, we do have to level up each tier individually, and that's how COD points are going to work for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, that's a pretty basic guide and breakdown on what COD points are used for. I'm not going to put any bells and whistles on it for y'all. That's just pretty much what they do now. In a nutshell, you cannot buy any reserves or supply drops for that matter. All you can do currently with COD points is progress through tiers and buy these special orders. I'm sure after the blackjack shop comes out, there's going to be more options and stuff to buy, like new skins, gestures, etc. directly. So, honestly... I would just wait to buy those because based off games that run a similar system, usually those items are the better looking ones. Plus, if Activision or Treyarch decides to add weapons, then they for sure will put some on the market. And I can definitely see weapons coming in the near future for this game if this new system takes off, which it more than likely will. Is it better than supply drops? Hell yeah it is. But is it worth buying COD points for leveling up in tiers? Honestly, it just depends on the situation you're in. I read online somewhere that it, it takes about 4 hours a day of in-game time for someone to level up to the max tier if they were to start now, which is a pretty long time to play in, in a game. Um, but there are those players who, you know, can't get on every day who have, you know, jobs, school, family, etc., whatever it may be, and like I said, cannot play every single day. So I feel that this tier system does kind of hinder those players from leveling up to the max level. And if you're one of those players, then maybe it would be beneficial to level up in tiers, or like I said, just save your COD points until they add better items on the blackjack shop because we know it's coming we know it'll be here like next month so why not just wait until then plus i personally think the contraband loot items and even the bombero legendary special orders aren't really that good of items to get in a game i don't know they just don't look that well to me i honestly again would rather save my cod points on something that actually looks cool and i'll maybe even use in a game like a weapon than you know like a, a, a bunch of sprays or a bunch of you know different weird looking skins for my specialist character but 
that's just me though again you're welcome to spend whatever your money on whatever you want but that's just my advice again i would not spend my cod points just yet the reason why i think they are better than cod points because at least we can see the item we're gonna get or at least we can see the item we can work towards but the catch is it just takes super super long to level up in tiers which may force those players who cannot play into buying tiers i don't think this is the best solution but right now the way it's set up this is the better solution system i just wish the players who cannot play your game every single day treyarch and activision were not so alienated and left out i'm optimistic though i think the devs will listen to us and read up on the progression data thus changing the progression time but just right now save your cod points and just try your best to level up naturally through in game time that's my thoughts guys but tell me how you think about this down below in the comments and if you feel that change needs to happen voice your opinions to the devs and let them know know how you feel don't forget to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it and make sure to click that bell icon so you'll know when i post videos i hope everyone had a nice safe halloween or dia de los muertos whatever you celebrate enjoy the holidays with your families guys and yeah thanks for watching i love you all so much thank you for your constant support your feedback it really does mean a whole lot to me i love you guys truly it means a whole whole lot to me and thanks for watching until next time i'll see you guys later